Quilters. Today's show is all about gifts and projects to help honor your mama, mother, figures, and other important women in your life. Stay tuned for plenty of inspiring project and gift ideas. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's trunk show called Honor Your Mama. Today we've got some great project and so many gift ideas that will give you plenty of time to start and finish before Mother's Day. Mother's Day is not for weeks away. That's right. And we've got plenty of ideas and even some great gift baskets put together for you to choose from. We've been a couple of busy bees dreaming up ideas that we think you're going to love. Plus, we've got some goodies to give away and uh, to, some of the, to some of you who are registered <laughs> for today's show. Let's get started. All right, did you ever make a card or draw a picture for your mom or grandma when you were little for Mother's Day? Yes. Well, we've grown up just a wee bit since then. So let's think about some really different gift ideas that you might not have thought about. Like some personalized clothing for mom. Oh, that's a great idea. Quilted and applique garments are all the rage right now. We see them everywhere. So here's a couple of ideas for you along those lines. How about putting a favorite picture of your child or grandchild or great grandchild on a sweater or a bag? Look at how fun this oh, is, isn't Erica. this adorable? All right, this process is really simple with the June Taylor Ink Jet printables. This would also work for a proud pet mom. It would work for a plant mom or yes. a soccer mom, really any kind of moms. But you could make it extra special by adding some lettering with one of our Go Alphabet dies, like the Go Classic Alphabet two inch uppercase die. So here's that die. I just love this die. This is so fun. So all the 26 letters are on one die board. Mm -hmm. And they are all facing uh, up, so you want to lay your fabric facing up. Yes. Uh, and I like the fact that it's going to cut out all the shapes here. Yes. But it's just going to be super easy. So we're going to, we've already pre-fused cotton. Right. You can always use flannel felt, denim wool, cork, minky. Oh, cork, cork would, would be, be really, really fun. fun. Or like leather. We've or got leather. some leather products. Oh, yeah. that would be Start great. Start with just one or two of those thicker layers. And we pre-fused it on our website. We have tons of options for fusible. Yep. So we're gonna cut two M's and an O. Now quilters, this is on a 10 by 24 die board, uh, but you don't need a 10 by 24 mat here. Actually, if Erica pulls out a six by 12 mat. Oh, a mat, six by 12, yes, I can do that. She can cut all of the letters that say mom. And 10 by 24, it's gonna fit through our go and our go big. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna use our go big, look at this glitter. Oh, on our, on what our did mat. we cut with that I last don't know, time. I think sparkly craft foam. Barkley craft foam. So Erica's gonna cut this on our Go Big, and if you haven't heard, if you haven't seen, we now have a Go Big die catcher. It's available nice. for pre-order on our AccuQuilt website. You can just click on it, it'll give you information um, to find out more about how to order it. You can also pre-order it from your local AccuQuilt retailer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going. Now we've got a smaller mat then die board. We can do that, right, Pam? All the time. It's only gonna cut where there's fabric in a mat. And while we're here, Erica, shall we talk about this go yeah, big? Yeah, let's do. While Greg is here, we'll take our letters off. Yep. So a lot of you are asking, how does this attach to your go big look? Real high tech. Has a lip right here. And this is gonna open up so you could store your uh, power brick here, you can put your cords through here, you could store snacks. Yes. And that the reason um, that we have it so portable is because your Go Big is portable as well. So we're going to put it right back here, we're just going to lift up the bottom, and there it goes. There it goes, all ready to cut again. So check out our website, you can um, get information on how to order it. All right, so back here, we're gonna get some love. It is so staticky here in our dream studio. Well, we tried to drag, not lift, but we kind of lift it. 
We did. But here, aren't these cute? Look at how fun this is. And that is so slick. When you think of any other way of personalizing something with letters, none of them are gonna be quite this simple, I don't right. think. Right. And then you can just press them on, you can finish them off, all different, all different ways, and we'll talk a little bit about finishing applique shapes later in the show. Yep. All right, so there we go. Let's start mom off right. That's right. Now, another fun idea might be to have a quilt made for her by our team at Memory Stitch or to get her a Memory Stitch gift card. They have so many different types yes. of quilts to choose from. Now, does she have a collection of old t-shirts from a hobby or a sport she loves? Those would make great gifts and it would probably be a big surprise for her, I think. It would be. And it might just be something she's been wanting to do for a long time. Think how thrilled she would be. Uh, Memory Stitch is great because they're going to give you all the information. You can choose what kind of quilt you want. Yep. You can decide, do you want them to cut up your t-shirts? Do you want to cut up your t-shirts? It's all fabulous. It's super easy. So you go to MemoryStitch.com. They're going to walk you through every step, show you all the different options. Yep. All right. Now we've got a lot more ideas for mom coming your way, but let's give away $100 in AccuQuilt reward points to a lucky viewer who's registered for today's show. Oh, great idea. Lucky registered winner, our viewer winning $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, drum roll please. Ann B from Moscow Mills, Missouri. Congratulations. Congratulations. At the end of our show, Ann, I'll put those reward points onto your account. Perfect. All right, it was just so hard to try and narrow down all the great gift and project ideas that we had. So what we've done is put together some pretty terrific gift bags full of goodies, starting with one that's built around a kitchen or kind of a foodie theme. And we put everything in one of our Go Mushroom Medley shopper totes. So this bag is made from a June Taylor Quilt As You Go kit. It actually includes the printed batting and the webbing, handle webbing to make three they're really fast and easy. They are. And then this one is enhanced with the Go Mushroom Medley by Janine LaCour, which is a really fun new die that just launched. Right. And you could applique any kind of uh, shape you want on it. Right. But I love the fabric has mushrooms on it. It does. Okay. So first of all, we're starting off with this super cute apron and hot mat. Hot pad. Is that right? Oven mitt. Oven mitt. There we go. There you go. Okay. Oh, so, so cute. So these have the Go Bee and Beehive on them, and it's this. the Go Bee Half Apron and Oven Mitt. It's a two-piece set by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. This is adorable Riley Blake fabric that she's used on these. It's really cute. Super cute. Forsythia. And, Very springy. And oven mitts, you know, listen, if you... I haven't made oven mitts for a while and I need some new oven mitts. <laughs> they do. They I'm just, just get grimy. So here's another fun project idea. How about some new hanging towels? Now these are made from a kit from June Taylor. So you get the things you need for one out of a kit and we made two here and you just need to pre-wash your toweling, hem it up, pre-wash it and then just surround it with really cute fabric, embellish it however you want. Love adding a little applique flower onto it from one of our go dyes. It's really cute. This is super cute fabric too. We're both kind of loving that it fabric It is really line. cute fabric. And again, hanging towels to match your oven mitts. Yes. Okay. All right. Now some placemats are sure to brighten up any table. And we have a couple here that we have. These are so cute. They are so cute. So these are Venice placemats. And oh, they're, they're upside oh, down. They are. Uh, they're Venice placemat because look, has a pocket. A pocket. For your napkins and your silverware. And these are, they have six in a Quilt As You yes. Go kit. Yes. Now, if you haven't worked with a Quilt As You Go kit, let's kind of walk through some steps here. Right. We have some right here. So it's all going to start with some printed batting right it is and you can see here, here. I'm gonna move some of our okay stuff off of our oh and we got mom here. crooked okay so it's going to start with your quilted batting and instructions so you're just going to need to add your fabric 
and follow the instructions. So yep. you'll cut it out and then you'll attach it to your backing fabric with and our June Taylor basting spray. Right. Yep. And then we used, I think, our two and a half inch strip die to cut these pieces, didn't we, Pam? We did indeed. We did and indeed. You'll start with piece one and then you'll lay, and these lines, these lines are placement lines, right, Pam? Yep. So we're gonna, you're gonna lay those up against that line, sew your perfect quarter inch seam. When you fold it over, it's gonna make it to the next line. Yep. So we're gonna go four, five, six, seven. It's gonna walk you right through it. Couldn't be more simple. And because you're sewing through all the layers, it's gonna be quilted and ready to bind when you're done. What a great gift for mom. Yes, it really would you be. Could, I mean, you could do it for, for a holiday or for yourself. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. All right. All right, so along that line, how about adding a bottle of wine or olive oil or, or balsamic vinegar? We had one, it got stolen for the set. Okay. But June Taylor makes these cute uh, wine tote quilt as you go kits, and we've got these embellished with our Go Paper Doll and Go Paper Doll clothes by Tip Stitched. And I think they are so cute. You could to totally personalize it for your mom. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah. You could make it look like mom, you could you could. Or maybe if you have letters. a whole bunch of sisters, you could make sister ones. Oh, that's a cute idea yeah. too. But you could put, you know, sparkling cider, or I love your idea of olive oil and a loaf of bread, all of yeah. those kind of things. Yeah, and these were made by Lissa LaGreca of Lovingly Lissa. Now, no kitchen gift bag would be complete without some bowl cozies. So we have a variety of, uh, we have two sizes. We have the Go version and the Go Big version. So you can see that there's a little bit of difference in mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. And again, just today I was thinking, ooh, we at the Hellers are in need of some <laughs> yeah, new bowl I was cozies. thinking that just the other day too. And I was actually eyeing, I made these for the, the um, samples and I thought, oh, dang. I really like that fabric yes, still. Yes, we'll need to make some. And they're super easy, um, and we have all the things that you need to put in the center. That batting, which is, tell me what it's called. That is called, not in Bright, but. What's it called, guys? Oh, we'll shoot. find out. There's a batting <laughs> that you're going to use. But it's special. It's 100% cotton, and no, it's not heat and bond. It is, we'll figure it out. Um, it's so that if you put it in the microwave, it will right. not start on fire. Basically, you want to make sure that everything that you use with making your bowl cozy is 100% cotton, including your thread and your batting. There we go. Okay. And then, all you need to add is some soup mix. Oh, Let's here, see. look. Yeah. Oh, there we, yep. Bowls. Got to have bowls. Maybe a ladle. The soup, some fun soup mix. Boy, We're this is set. a good size ladle. Well... There you go. Maybe mom's feeding a lot of people. I don't yeah. know. Or maybe I just, that's right. the one in my drawer. Wrap and zap. Wrap and Thank zap. You. Um, also, at the Heller house, um, we have small children who eat cereal. Oh. And cereal always goes in a bowl cozy, in a bowl, in a bowl cozy. Yes, because they drip milk. They drip milk. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, and ice cream in the summertime. Oh, yes. Which apparently is today in Nebraska. Yes, well, it certainly was yesterday. Yeah, 89 yesterday in Nebraska. All right, so all right. then maybe you top it all off with a bouquet of fresh flowers or maybe with it being spring, maybe some herb plants for her garden and it's perfect and ready to go. Now the next bag is designed to help mom relax a little bit. Actually, this one's so much fun, Pam and I kind of want to have one of these for each other. So we've got everything for this relaxation gift in a Go Fat Quarter Grocery Tote by Carolina Moore with Art Gallery Fabric. And this is super easy because this grocery tote, um, you just make it with four fat quarters. Yeah. And then you use Carolina Moore's two box bag die to cut the bottoms. Yes. Okay. All right, now grocery shopping is not relaxing for me. The only not kind of shopping all. that's really relaxing is a quilt shop, but I do love this bag and everyone needs bags for shopping because I don't know about you, but I am completely over shopping with plastic bags. Um, and so of course the first thing you're gonna need is the Go Patchwork Bottle Bag by Carolina Moore that you're looking for, but it, it snuck out and got on the set. It has wine in it. <laughs> it does. So right there it's a lovely bottle starts. of red. Yes. Yeah, so that's what you need. 
And it's super cute because you can just tie it with the ribbon and it's reusable, it's really fun. And the next thing in there is an eye mask. Yes. Now remember, we've got a dye for that. We do, we you, haven't used it for a while. Make all kinds, you can uh, fill them with like rice and make them microwavable. Mm -hmm. Again, use 100% cotton and everything and maybe with ties for that. Yes. Be super fun because we all need that to relax with. Or maybe your mom likes to relax with a mug of tea or hot cider like me or cocoa. Oh, so, and we sell our mugs too. We do, we do. So here's our little mug mats. Yes. They come in groups of six. Three. Three. Oh, get enough. Well, these, this is the, the Quilts As You Go two and a half inch strip mug mat set and it comes with three in it. Right. So you could add tea to it or cocoa, all of the things. And again, this is made with your two and a half inch strips. So if you've got jelly rolls sitting around or if you have a two and a half inch strip die to cut up your scraps with, this would be super slick. Or maybe if mom likes doing projects, you can give her the... Oh, the whole kit and the, the like whole a, kit. You know, it'd be super fun is to give her the kit and a jelly roll. Oh, that would be really fun. There you go. Okay, if you're making tea, why not have a really cute go B and beehive teapot <laughs> cozy? This, is. this one's by Brianna Roberts of So Cute and Quirky, and she used Benetrex fabric. Isn't that cute? That's a, the B and beehive dye again. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what else, Erica? Do you like to do? Uh, a relaxing gift means you want to curl up with a good book. Yes. And since we mentioned tea, how about I'll come back here. A quilt to curl up with, with that book. And that is the Go High Tea Throw Quilt by Amanda Harward from Larkspur Quilts. And Amanda made this and I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. I love the colors about it. I love the sashing about it. This is our Go um, Tea Party. Yes. Uh, die. And I, it has the top for the die or the teapot and the handle. And it comes with those free embroidery downloads. So you can just stitch right here. She used the um, blanket stitch. And then she used our cube, our four inch cube, to make flying geese. And then look, sashing in between. Yeah. I like this. So you could make it vintage, you could make it whatever colors you wanted to match your. It'd be cute for, for fall, in fall fabrics. It'd be adorable in Christmas fabrics. Okay. Whatever mom's favorite holiday is. Halloween. Halloween fabrics, always. Okay. All right, mom's gonna need some favorite treats to enjoy, like some good chocolate. And then look at this super cute snack mat. This is by Melanie called a bit of uh, scrap stuff. Melanie, this is darling. So the cute. fabric is darling. The snack mat is uh, snack mat is darling. And flying geese in every cube shapes four and five. All right. So I said I, I'd like to curl up and read. So we had a book. You could also give mom a gift card to a local bookshop, maybe some tea that you know she's gonna like or some cocoa packets. And you're right, Miss Pam. I love this, I think we need this. Should all come, but you should give it to her in a bag because we have, so, last week, if you missed last week's show, we had 87 different kinds of bags. So many, but these are some different ones that we I didn't know. talk about. Okay. And you know what, speaking of bags, they even snuck one onto the set. Look, there's a bag that says mom. Oh, look, it's a zippy mom bag. zippy bag. It's a I free like pattern that. on AccuQuilt.com. Okay. All right, Quilters, since today's uh, trunk show is all about honoring your mama or other important women in your life, we want to know what's your favorite thing about your mom? That's right. Let us know in the comments wherever you stream our show. And while we're waiting for those to come in, how about we give away another $100 in AccuQuilt reward points to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show? I think that is a grand idea. All right, the lucky registered viewer winning $100 in AccuQuilt reward points this time is, drum roll please, Gloria S. from Piedmont, South Carolina. Congratulations. Congratulations. Gloria. Rappin' Zap. Get rappin zap. Maybe she's gonna get some Rappin' Zap to make, make some cozies. bowl cozies. <laughs> Our next bundle of gift ideas are for the crafty or quilting mom. And since that's basically what all of us are, um, you know this one is gonna be full of some of our favorite things. For starters, 
we're putting it all into a go rolling tote which is great for taking your cutters and dies along with you. Oh. And it would fit a go me in a cube or a go or a go big or even a portable sewing machine. Now, these are a great gift all by themselves. But we want to take a look at some of the goodies that we've packed inside for this one. We're going to start with... I'm going to... Am I doing this, Brock? Sure. Okay. Pam's going to bring it over here so it's closer because we packed all kinds of things in here. So many. All right. Okay, so let's talk about this tote first. Yes. Uh, it comes in black and go green. Mm -hmm. It has handles here. It has a telescoping handle there to pull it with. It's got rollers, Velcro. This, this little part here can hold your cutting mats. It can hold your strip dies. It can hold your mats. Mm -hmm. Inside there are pockets, but oh. inside for us is, ah, there we go, our little go me. So here we've got, oh, I'm going to turn it this way. And there it opens right up, and you're ready, ready for crafting, ready for sewing, ready for all kinds of projects. And our Go Me comes with two dies, a three-inch finished top square triangle and yes. a three-inch finished quarter square, square triangle. We have patterns in the box, but we have hundreds of free patterns at AccuQuilt.com. It also comes with a six-by-six six mat, so you'll have, Mom will have everything. She'll be all ready to start cutting. And to help you subcut your fabric, you could pop in the back our little June Taylor a there we go. cut and press too. This is so clever. So we have to show you this because this is the best thing for traveling. One side, it is a pressing surface. It's padded. And on the back side, it's for cutting. It's all in one. It's got a little handle on it. I love it. I and think inside is our rotary cutter. Yeah, we don't want to fumble around looking for that. We do but not. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's for subcutting fabric. And you know how I feel like everybody needs pins and pin cushions. So we're going to start off with a Go Pin Cushion by Carolina Moore. She's always expectmore.com. She's made this with art gallery fabric. It is a free pattern. And then we're going to need some pins. My current oh, wait. favorite. You're going to need her two die set to cut that. Oh, yes. Pin cushion die. Okay, these are magic pins, I started to say. So this is the coolest die set ever. It's very unique. It's going to cut those boxed corners for you. Which it, is what you'll need for the pin cushion. It's going to cut darts, and it'll cut two different curved corners. It's really it's fun. So fun. There's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Absolutely. Lots of free patterns available using those dies. Okay, so speaking of dies that will work with the gummy, maybe this is a good time to get mom started on a new skill like oh. English paper piecing. So we have the Go Jewel Petal die. Oh, there we go. And we also that. have the Jewel Petal Coasters by Jen Strauser of a Dizzy Quilter. And we're going to give you the tip that Belle Bruner gave us. Yes. Um, typically, when I was cutting this, I would cut the fabric and then cardstock. But now we're going to use just like a light interfacing. Right. And we have that available on our website for you. So I would get a roll and pop it in with this because then you don't have to remove it. Yeah. And it's just super fun. If mom hasn't done that, it's a great on the go kind of project. Okay. So All right. I feel Here. like... I'm going to okay. move some of You're these. You're going to move some of those things. Okay. Because the next thing I feel like every crafty and quilty mom is going to need is some project bags. And these are made with June Taylor Quilt As You Go kits. And they are absolutely adorable. And they are so <coughs> slick. And they come with everything to make two of them. Just add your fabric but they come with the clear vinyl for the front and they come with zippity doo done zippers up here. Yeah, you don't need that little zipper foot. You can just sew those yeah, right Yeah, it's They're a really free slick. set in zipper that's set in a casing. So you just stick your side in and stitch it down. And here it's covered with some cute fabric. It's just adorable. And you should never give her an empty project bag. Oh, heavens, So let's no. fill it up with some notions. So 
First of all, we have pre-wound bobbins. These are all available on our website. I, you can tell we've been using them because this is not a full package of pre-wound bobbins. Uh, so tight um, magnets, they help you keep those English paper pieces together. Right. A tiny pair of K, K, uh, Karen K. Buckley scissors. They're truly the best. They are, and tiny little needles. Okay, so this is a cute tube for keeping your needles. These are Sue Daly needles. And for those June Taylor projects, we have a fabric glue stick and a magic seam wand to help you. And I feel like those it. would work with English paper piecing too. So much. Mm -hmm. And because your eyes are a little bit older now. <laughs> um, you don't have to say that to mom. Needle threader. No, just say, here you go. Here you go. But she's going to love it because it's got a little light and it's going to thread those little needles for her. Okay, but you have some other notions right, that because, you think we might Because like. notions are fun, and every quilter and crafter and sewist needs them. So we're going to start off with talking about our clappers. So these, we've got two sizes. This is the 8-inch size. We also have a 12-inch size. These are made here locally, and they are branded with our AccuQuilt name and logo, and these are so useful for flattening your seams. It right? is. It is. You just lay it down on your seams and it, the weight of it just is there. It's beautiful. Now, those Karen K. Buckley scissors, they come in other sizes. Yes, those are the pink larger ones. pink ones. Love the pink ones. Okay, let's see. What else do we Red, have over here? You want a here? pressing mat? We've got, this is super cool. This, oh, let's see. Let's go over here. We've got starch savvy, right? So you're going to spray this on your fabric before and then you can press it and it gives it that nice crisp, uh, texture to it. Quilt basting spray. It's You're going to want that for putting your backing, sticking your backing to the batting with those quilts as you go projects, yes. but it's also good for so many other things. I sometimes use it for binding. I use it for um, em with embroidery, but I also use it with, um, if I'm quilting things, smaller projects. I'm going to give those to yep. back. Smaller projects on my r regular machine. Now the next thing is a nonstick pressing sheet. And this is so you can press over your applique and not worry about getting that visible <laughs> on your iron. Oh, this is very important. Yeah, yes. it's really cute. This is very important. And we have a couple, one last thing over there, Erica. Yes, these are some of our Sarah Hart woven labels. And these are so cute. So if you are giving a guilt, these happen to say made by grandma but there we've got all kinds of really super cute designs and you know you should put labels on everything. Yes, right, yes. All right, now we have one more gift bundle for you and this one's for the oh, new mom yes. or the expecting mom. That's right. Babies can be overwhelming at times. So here's a collection of fun and useful things for new moms and we packed it up in our super cute Go Little Peanut Diaper Bag by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts. And look, at it has the elephant die on it. And it's really a set because it also has a little grab and go pouch with it. And these are made from June Taylor kits. Again, don't, don't panic about the zipper because this is a zippity do done. And it's just embellished with a decorative stitch from your regular sewing machine. Super cute. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm seeing what's inside. <laughs> Next we have some so much. Burp, burp claws. So much and baby bibs. So here's so these are. Let's see. These Can are I pull out things. Yes, pull oh, some here. things out. So here's some really cute burp claws, and you can make these from flannel. You can make them from minky. You can make them from um, old old towels. Yes. Um, anything that you want. Super cute. You can personalize them. This one's got a little dinosaur on it, but you could put. You could embroider on it. You could put an applique on it. Now the next thing we've got are some quilt as you go baby bibs. And these are super cute, aren't they? I like these a lot. So these come three in a kit. We wanna lay them out there so you can see. And they're gonna work together just like our okay. other, we'll put yeah. it down here. Um, it's gonna work just like our other quilt as you go projects and be super cute. You're gonna have it done super fast. And don't worry about fastening, just use a little Velcro. And that'll be easy for mom too. Okay, and we have a couple of more things for just for mom herself. Yes. And this, okay, Brock gets extra credit for finding this. We've been looking for this for two days. Oh, I um, think Mr. Kenyon found it. Oh, Kenyon that. found it. 
<laughs> hey, look at this. This is the Zippity Doo Done crossbody bag by our good friend Carolina Moore of Expect More. And look, it zips open. You can put your that Zippity Doo, yep. Sunglasses and phone and wallet and keys. Pam's like into modeling today. She I am. wore the apron. She's wearing the crossbody bag. But I'm going to put on the eye mask of things and to... then go to sleep. Well, yeah, because you've got to sleep when, the, new moms have to sleep when the baby sleeps, and that might be in the middle of the day. So give her a nice little eye mask so that she can take a nap when she needs to. I haven't made eye masks in a while. We should do that. We should make some new ones. Okay, the next set is the coffee mug cozy. You know, if you're like me, and we are coming up on Earth Day and some sustainable quilting shows, I hate wasting you know, the, the sleeve, you don't, because you don't I drink don't coffee. Take coffee. But if you go and get coffee and you're using, getting a paper sleeve, and then you have to remember to recycle it or reuse it, or you could make some of your own. Yeah, and you so could you make some fun ones. That's that cozy up fabric we love. That's this is super, super some. You just make some cute ones. Keep one in, mom can keep one in her car. New moms run on coffee. Okay. And then the last thing, which everybody needs to make, this is the go hang in there while hanging by her good friend, Christina Brinkerhoff of Center Street Quilts. <laughs> she used the sloth die and our three inch alphabet upper and lower case. And it could say all sorts of things on it. It could. But I love it because it it's just made out of strips. It is. Now, new moms can always use a meal delivery, one that's already prepared and ready to go. So why not deliver it in style? And this is so cute. So this is the June Taylor casserole caddy. And this is the cool tissue go kit as well. And it's got some Velcro there, so it'll fasten up. We've got a pan in here so you can Dang, see. Dang, I was hoping there was cake. There was no cake, there's batting. Doggone oh, it. Oh, but you'll probably want to use like either a disposable foil pan. Yes, for sure. And tell her she gets to keep the caddy or get her a new pan and tell her she gets to keep the pan. She's probably gonna need a new pan or two. So we're gonna make these. Are you? In a few weeks on our um, Wednesday show. Oh, how after fun. The along. Oh, how fun. I have some of these little batting at our house. These are very fun. I wanna make one of these. These are cute. Cause you know, Anymore, my girls tend to host, but I notice that I'm still <laughs> cooking for those events. Look at that. This is super cute. Okay. All right, let's lay that over there. There is one more thing that I would think would make a new mom so happy, and it's a really easy way to help her and dad hang on to those early memories. Give them a gift card to Memory Stitch, and what you can do is you can um, keep like special onesies and special yes. clothing for that first year. And then the people at Memstitch can make a onesie quilt. And it's going to be great because those little ones aren't going to stay little very long. Yeah. Great idea. Sentimental gift. Yes, it is. Now, we talk about it often, but applique and machine embroidery are wonderful ways to personalize gifts. So whether you're embellishing a project you've already made or something that was pre-made, it's going to make it really special and add the perfect little touch. And when you're using go dies, you get a professional looking project. And it's a super easy process. Just like we did before, we press some fusible to the back of our fabric, mm -hmm. laid it down on the die like we when we cut our mom words, covered mm -hmm. it with a mat, right. and cut. Once those perfectly cut shapes are done, you can press them onto your project and finish the edges with decorative stitches with a straight stitch inside the raw edge, or if it's a quilt, quilt over the top. Yep. But if you have an embroidery machine, that really throws the doors wide open. At AccuQuilt.com, we have free downloadable outline stitches in your choice of a satin stitch, a blanket stitch, or a motif stitch for all of our non-designer shapes. And some of those too. Plus, we have a wealth of more complex designs available to purchase and download at AccuQuilt.com. I bet you have some samples. Oh, of course I do. All right, now, one of the, the dyes you, we talked about earlier and you saw some samples with is the Go B and Beehive dye. So here, let's take a look, because we just kind of love this one. This one's so cute. So here's an example of each one of the stitches. Here is the satin stitch. Here's the motif stitch, which is really fun. It makes the wings, give, gives them a little movement. And then here's the blanket stitch, which is my favorite for like wall hangings right. and things like that. But okay. 
I have to include one that is available for purchase using the same die. Okay. That's our queen bee embroidery because mom is the queen bee, is she not? As she is. Look at how fun that is. It's adorable. Love, it's darling. It's darling. Okay, what else do we have to honor your mom? Oh, we have so many things. So here we have the Go Mother's Day Gnome Embroidery. This is Look. by Specialty Designs. Isn't that cute? I love that. With and the bow and the flowers. And this is the heart from the cookie decorations. It's just super cute. Okay. All right, next up. Oh, this is the bow from the cookie decorations. Uh-huh. Now this one is the uh, Go Love You Embroidery. This is by Specialty. So not just for Mother's Day. You yeah, you could use this for other things. Day or birthdays or weddings. Super cute. I like that one a lot. We've also got the Go Love You Mom. I love this. This is from our Queen of Hearts die. And here's our classic alphabet. And I think these are... Funky flowers. Funky flowers, yeah. It's really cute. Here is our Go Happy Mother's Day. This is our classic alphabet, the small heart. This one is by V-Stitch. It stitches the little polka dots. It's just darling. Isn't that cute? Just darling. And the fabric she used was darling. I know. It's perfect. Okay. This is the Go Love Mom Gnomes Embroidery. Again, by V-Stitch. It says M-O-M -M for That's mom. So cute. So if there's three kids in the family or That's three fun. grandkids, this is perfect. We've got our Go Mom and Baby Sloth. Look at how cute that is. So you could add them to your hang in there. You could. You could. It's super cute. And then, okay, maybe our favorite. Yes is the Go Mom and Baby Flamingo embroidery design by V-Stitch Designs. Isn't this cute? So the baby so one's all stitched. Yes. This is from our die and the little hearts and mama's got a little flower in and her. And the blankie. And the blankie. And for those of you who have moms that play pickleball, there is a pickleball flamingo. There is. Don't Just miss it. Just saying. Don't miss it. All right. All right, so many great ideas, but it's time for the fabric mailbox and to see what our friends from Island Batik have sent for us to give away today. All right. Okay, I do love Batiks and I do <laughs> love Island Batiks and these are two different <gasps> Ooh. bundles. Oh, she handed me the teal. I love I the teal. Chose wisely. There are mermaids on that. There are mermaids on this island batik. Oh my goodness, look at these pretty, pretty There is colors. a mermaid die, for those of you who don't know that. Mermaid king and queen. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love this these This is a huge fabrics. bundle. Okay, you've got a lot, you've got oodles of, oodles of quilting fun ahead of yeah, you with right one there, of these right bundles. There. there we go. All right. Oh, uh, Braxis, we have to give it away, so we will. <sighs> First winner of an island batik fabric selection is, drum roll please. Lynn D. from Cookson, Oklahoma. Congratulations, Lynn. Now the second winner of a selection of fabrics, and no, we don't know who's gonna get which one. It's just gonna be I the- just grab them. Luck of the draw. The second winner, okay, drum roll now. And it's Vera Kay from Saratoga Springs, New York. Congratulations. <laughs> Huge shout out to Ivan Batiz for sponsoring today's oh, trunk show. Helping us make this a great show. Our quilters are going to love making projects with this. This is so nice. So nice. And so much fabric. All right. Quilters, early in the show, we asked, what is your favorite thing about your mom? So now it's time to hear your responses. Okay. Well, I said, well, one thing is my mom was the best cook. She was an excellent cook. She taught me how to cook. She helped teach my daughters how to cook. But she also was very creative and she always had stuff around for art projects and all. There we go. Um, one thing about my mom was every day of my life she cooked me a hot breakfast. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I had early school and she was up making me hot breakfast. All right, but now we have some more. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Susan S. says, uh, all the wonderful memories she gave us, right? Right. I love that. Terry M. says she would always sit up and chat with me over coffee or tea. Oh, I love that. 
Peggy misses sewing and crocheting with her mom. Oh. I bet you do. Anita S., she loved her mom's generosity and sense of humor. That's fun. Uh, Janet said her mom let her loose on her 1949 singer Featherweight and always encouraged her sewing. That's a fabulous memory. You know, I have a mother figure that I can thank for teaching me how to sew. So mwah, thank Thanks. you, Buff, for teaching me how to sew. Uh, Julie K., my mom was so selfless, truly a wonderful mom. And Tess says, um, my mom taught me to sew and survive. There we go. No matter what else comes along. There you well, go. Now that's, yeah. Rosemary, Rosemary B says, I miss my mom a lot. She sat me down in front of her old Singer pedal sewing machine when I was nine. She loved Gone with the Wind and tried to recreate some of the dresses in the movie. Great <gasps> memories. I love that. All right. Oh my gosh. We love them. We do. All right, now quilters, we have plenty of great deals available for you yeah. on our website to help you build all kinds of great gifts. We do, to get your order in, open a new, type in your, to, new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the site, see the offers and place your order. Don't forget to pick up this month's adorable die to try, the Go Kitten. It's on our back wall. Can you get a shot of that it, for us, Frank? Yes. It's, um, we have just a few left in stock here at AccuQuilt.com, but you could also find it from your local retailer. It's only around to the end of April or until supplies last. Look at that. Meow. That's with the uh, Go Umbrella by Aditya Sitar. Super cute. And using those carefree alphabet ties. All right, it is time for us to get ready for our next show. We hope today's trunk show was just what you needed to inspire you for your next project, for your mom, or that special mother figure in your life. See you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow we're continuing with part two of our AQS AccuQuilt Along. Tune in to see if you won a door prize. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips and tricks and inspiration. Next time, we'll have a great show about sustainable quilting processes. We hope to see you there.